So recently the Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker beta came out and over the course of what happened recently I felt like I really wanted to talk about it because it wasn't a fun experience and a lot of people seem to have agreed with me and it wasn't really playable and for people who didn't get a chance to to play or who have been just hearing what's been going on with the beta and stuff like that I'm here to talk about it and my experiences with the beta and my overwhelmingly frustrations with it and so so basically over the past couple of days uh, Bond and Namco decided to release an open beta for Naruto the Boruto Shinobi Strikers like I just explained and the entire weekend that it was available it wasn't playable and some of you might be wondering, what do you mean it wasn't playable? Well, in the sense of it was, if it, ugh, the sense that it wasn't playable, I mean that literally the first day, I couldn't log on and play. And of course, it's a beta, and there are issues. So I forgive it for having like connectivity issues and stuff like that. And you know, because it is a beta, but like the entirety of the weekend just was not enjoyable it wasn't playable you couldn't do anything and it just wasn't fun because you would get on and it would take you like at least an hour to at least try to log on and then when you finally did and you finally got into the game you would either lag out the app would crash I don't know if that's happened to people but it's it probably has happened or you simply just can't find a match because the matchmaking is so terrible in this game. And I actually left a comment in a YouTuber's video, his name is Stormwolf, because he did play the game. I'm not going to use his footage because I don't really feel like it, but um, he did give his impre first impressions about the open beta or just to exper his experience with the game because it almost seems like he didn't play the closed beta, but whatever. So I, I left this whole big comment of just my frustrations with the game and what I wholeheartedly think about the game from the good side and the bad side and ultimately I accepted that there is a lot of good with this game and I'll go ahead and get into explaining into it so when I finally got to get in into play with uh, to play the game it was fun. It really was fun and enjoyable. The art style, although it's not my favorite, it's not terrible and it's different. And it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, period, in terms of art style for anything that I've seen in my whole 17 years, almost 18 years of my life. Uh, having a creative character is, you know, for a lot of people, always a win because the big appeal, the, the Xenoverse especially, was the fact that you could have a creative character. So, especially recently with Xenoverse 2, they just released, like, literally hours ago this morning, they literally just released uh, the free patch with the Super Saiyan Blue uh, transformation for your CACs, and that's awesome. A lot of people can get really creative with their create a character some people even go as far as to create an entire backstory and they give the character you know development and death behind it and people can be doing the same thing for their own naruto create a character and that's awesome and the jutsus there there are a lot of cool ones and they're all very obviously reminiscent of those that were that were in the show like the chidori the rasengan ross and shuriken uh, spiky Human Boulder, Mitotic Regeneration, Kirin, Kamui, stuff like that. The, the, you know, the Jutsus look cool, and the combat was honestly a lot better than I anticipated going into the beta. It was a lot better than what I initially anticipated, of course, because in the beta, or not in the beta, the trailers they had, they had released months prior, they didn't really show how good the combat actually was like the promotion material that they have with this game is trash they they are terrible with promoting this game and i think that's one of the the biggest letdowns with this game is that they're not hyping it up they're not making us excited for this naruto game to come out and so the promotion for this game is just really bad but overall because it is naruto people are still excited and the combat going back into to me talking about it which was the main part of this 
specific part of the video, the combat was a lot better. It's a lot more free flowing than I expected because I didn't expect it to be that free flowing like I initially anticipated. I'm repeating a lot of words, I apologize, but um, it, it wasn't bad. The combat wasn't bad. And then it just, then we get into the problems of where this game has flaws and like everything it has flaws but I guess I want to start simply with the creative characters and what I have issues with and just what we've seen from the beta I'm going off of everything that I've seen in the beta and if all this carries over into the full game whenever that comes out because we still haven't gotten a release date I'm going to be very disappointed because the problem that I have with the creative characters is the options that we have with the creative characters, they're very limited. They're very limited right now, and a lot of, especially the hairstyles, are very just, they're, they're too simplistic, or they're literally just the exact same hairstyles of the original cast that we, that we have currently in the game, as far as we can tell, just by the hairstyles, and then of course the original cast from Naruto Part 1 and Shippuden, and even Boruto. Like, for example, one hairstyle is literally Sasuke. You can literally have Sasuke's hairstyle on your own male creative character, and I feel that's very lazy if that stays into the main game. If that stays into the main game, I'm going to be honestly very disappointed because that's just really lazy and they literally just took his hairstyle and gave it to your creative character I, I don't really like that um, another thing that I was really disappointed with was uh, the outfits and obviously because like I said it is a beta there are a lot of restrictions with it but here is the one piece of thing that I hate about the outfits that we have current that we had currently in the beta because A, they're really boring. They they don't really stand out because they're literally just, you know, the shinobi from all the various hidden villages throughout the entirety of the Naruto-verse. But there are two outfits that I had problems with specifically. And that was the fact that you can either have your outfit as just Naruto Shippuden's clothes or Sasuke's clothes from Shippuden. And that's, that's so boring boring that's so lazy i don't i don't want to dress up like sasuke i don't want to dress up as naruto if i wanted to be naruto i would play naruto if i wanted to be sasuke i would play sasuke but you could literally have your character look like your your cac your creative character you could literally have him look like naruto or sasuke when the whole point of being a creative character is to create your character and be original and be different from the original cast and I just feel like that's so boring, that's so lazy, and it's not pushing creativity because all people want to do is have their creative characters, their OG character that they created themselves, just be like Sasuke because Sasuke is a fan favorite character along with Naruto and along with other characters that they give us more of their outfits. It's so boring and I don't like that. Another thing that just really pissed me off was, of course, the awful matchmaking. The awful matchmaking is one of the biggest downfalls with the beta, and I'll, and this stays into the, the full game. It's going to be one of the biggest things that's going to piss everybody off when the full game comes out. For example, I finally got into a match or into the, the hub world, which I do like in retrospect, but there's nothing to do there currently because it is a beta, so it was very bland and boring. So you would go and look for a match and you can't do anything besides wait and, and just look for a match, right? Which is like, fine, okay, whatever. I'll just sit here and wait for a match. One example that I experienced myself was there were seven people in one lobby and I waited there for like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes even, probably, right? I sat there, I waited, I waited. I was on my phone doing whatever I was doing, probably on Twitter looking through my mentions on my various different accounts that I have on Twitter and then it just randomly started looking for a new lobby it didn't even it couldn't even find an ace player to join the fucking lobby even though it goes based off of the people that are around you in the hub world and there are definitely probably more people than just seven fucking people looking for a goddamn match how can you have terrible matchmaking when the whole premise of the open beta is to play online and stress test the servers when you're trying to go and look for a fucking lobby? It's so annoying. I fucking hate it. It was so 
aggravating. The next part that I really didn't like about the fucking beta so far, and this will probably stay into the full fucking game, and they're not going to fix it because it's Bandai Namco that we're fucking talking about, and... Oh, it's it's the netcode. The netcode of this game is so fucking bad. It's so bad. And it's the it's the same as every other Namco Bandai Bandai Namco like games. Like Bandai Namco has had a terrible track record with having terrible netcode in their games. But the beta's netcode was so bad. It's so bad that it felt almost unplayable. From the footage that I've seen from the closed beta back in December to the open beta that happened a couple days ago, it, it didn't fix. It didn't fix from, from between the past like month or so. It didn't fucking, they didn't fucking fix it. The netcode is just the same as it was. There, there are times where you're trying to throw uh, the kunai wire to the wall and then it, it'll either not hit or it'll land but then you randomly just fall off the fucking wall for no random for no reason whatsoever and it's annoying the hit detection in this game is also really bad as as i can literally be using a substitution jutsu because someone's hitting me and then randomly they somehow manage to be able to go and hit me and another thing that I forgot to mention about the combat. The combat, although it's fun and it's a lot better than I expected, it's also really, really bad in the sense of when you go online, here's how the combat works. You get the first hit, you do a couple hits in the combo, and then someone does a substitution, substitution jutsu. And of course, they're gonna go back into the fight to get the first hit, but whoever gets the first hit in that moment, and if it's someone who had just used the substitution jutsu, if they get hit, they're basically stuck in an infinite loop where they can't get out of an attack. They're basically just stuck there getting hit, and it's so annoying because then eventually someone else is going to come along, and then you're getting hit by two other people, and then you're going to use the substitution again, substitution jutsu again to get out of the get out of the attack. You're going to run away, but then of course they're just going to throw a fireball jutsu at your ass, and then they're going to put you back in the infinite loop that you're just that you were just in. And it's so annoying. It's so bad. It's so annoying. It's so unplayable at that time because the hit detection is so terrible because of that reason that it just makes it so unfun to fucking play. Like another example is I literally hit someone with a Chidori a Sasuke and it completely whiffs. It whiffs. It completely misses for no reason even though I see on my screen I physically hit the person with the Chidori, the Lightning Blade, the Rasengan, the Rasen Shuriken. How do I not hit that person? How do I not fucking hit that person when I clearly see that I, on my screen that I hit them? It's so bad. The hit detection, the netcode, everything about this game so far has just been such a such a terrible experience it's been such a terrible experience with everybody in this game and from what we've seen from the game modes fucking capture the flag and a pve mode where you go after shikaku the one tails uh, it looks so boring and it almost seems like this game is fully team-based and that's not ultimately bad because like back over a year ago or so in like 2016 or something like that or early 2017 overwatch became a huge successful hit because it was a team oriented game right and a lot of the people squatted up and they played overwatch and you know created their own team and that's great but in a game like naruto i feel like there just needs to be an option where you can go into a solo queue by yourself and fight one on one with someone and in that case it'll be fucking fair and the maps are almost ridiculously too fucking big for their own good and I, I specifically say this for the hidden the hidden leaf forest map the hidden leaf the hidden leaf forest map is ridiculously big i didn't like it it wasn't fun to play trash trash i didn't like it the sand village though was small uh, small enough that you can get into action a lot more and it was a lot more entertaining and I did, I did like that map, but if the maps aren't small enough to where there's a lot more action going on and a lot more stuff is happening, it's not going to be fun and no one's going to enjoy it, right? Because it's fucking terrible. 
one more thing before I start before I start talking about something else, I guess. Uh, another part of the video is the camera in this game is awful because literally there could be someone I just hit my mic there could be someone right in front of you right and then you use the lock on camera to lock onto them for whatever reason this happened especially for me it'll lock on to someone who's entirely across the map in their own spawn after they just died that's a little bit of exaggeration, but that's what it fucking feels like, and it's terrible. It's awful. I don't fucking like it. I just realized how many times I've said terrible and awful in this entire video, so... Uh, drinking game, drink, have one shot every single time I say terrible or awful. <laughs> uh, I hope that... Bonnie Nanko, or whoever is developing the game, realizes that there are flaws with this game that need to be fixed and if they don't get fixed the game is gonna flop really fucking hard and it's gonna it's gonna put a, a bad track record in a Naruto video games you know like fan base because it's just not it's not gonna work if the game releases at a full sixty dollars uh, I, I don't even know if I'm gonna buy it if it, re if it releases at $60, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. Because there are more games out there that I could spend $60 that are better than this game. If this game comes out for like $40, though, I might actually consider it. And if it does come out for $40, or even $60, because I will probably consider it even then. Because I, I do love Naruto as a series. And, you know, Ultimate Storm 4 was awesome ultimate ninja storm 4 i i love this i love the storm series it was really good there was a huge fan base for the game it was fucking awesome and then this game comes out and it's almost trying to just completely diminish it and it makes me really sad it makes me really upset that they're so stingy that one simple fix one simple fix that can easily fix this entire game and the problems that I have with it is get, is give the game better fucking netcode and not just this game but like Xenoverse 2 because Xenoverse 2 and even fighters currently fighters I love Dragon Ball fighters but the connection and the netcode on that game hasn't been doing well for recently Bandai Namco if you're watching this for whatever reason please I'm honestly fucking begging you here please 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 Fix the netcode because the netcode is what's hurting your games and it's what's hurting the longevity of a game's life cycle if it doesn't get fixed no one is going to be playing your game no one is going to buy shinobi striker and it's not going to sell and it's going to basically almost force your hand to never make a naruto game again and that's gonna that's gonna really hurt the fan base, because everybody loved Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, and the the Ninja Storm series in general. And if you don't do what needs to be done, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. People are gonna be really upset. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. This is a big old rant. I. I'm almost really relieved now because I, I had so much pent up aggression with just how bad the beta was that I almost needed to do this. And I was talking to someone on Twitter. I'm voice cracking a lot. I realized that. I was talking to someone on Twitter and they were like, it's a beta, it's a beta, whatever, whatever. I forget what he said, but he was, it was almost basically trying to forgive the game because the full game isn't out yet. We don't even have a release date yet. Yada, 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 yada. But then I said something that makes the most sense to me and what is honestly realistic in my eyes. And that's the whole point of a beta is to stress test the servers right and then the whole part of a beta as well is to also <sighs> it's to also you know have people criticize 
the game. Because if people don't criticize the game, then there's no way it's going to be fixed. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about the video other than what I just explained. That was all my frustrations with the beta and the game and how it is right now. And I, I can only hope that Bonnie Nemco just does what they need to do, and you know, fix this game because. I want I want to enjoy this game and have this game have the longevity that it deserves, but it's not gonna work when when people don't want to play it. That that's that's it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful life, and I'll see you in the next one.